Dear students, in today's module, we will be further exploring another group known as editing group in the home ribbon of Microsoft Word. So in this module, we will be focusing on uh, topics like find, replace, go to and selection. So let's start. We have opened the same document on which we were working in the previous modules and here is the editing group. So here you can find different options like find and this find is menu driven. This means that it can further expand to give you find, advanced find and go to then replace and then select. So let's start with the find. So for example, if I want to find that in this document, I want to find whether the world however is available or not. So I have put however in the text box and it has given me that there are 17 times the word however is written in this document. And if I want to move to any particular place, it has moved me to that particular place. And with this, you can move to previous and next places. So this is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this is the last however in our document. And if I move upward, so this is the first however in my document. Then we will move to advanced find afterwards. The second thing is the replace. So if I want to replace however, with because for example so i select replace button and i said however should be replaced with because and i said replace so this replace will only replace the first occurrence of however world so for example you can see that this however is here and if i replace put replace the first however has been replaced and now the cursor is showing the second however world and if I want to do it again so now it is showing the third one and if I want to replace all of the however world with because world I will press replace all so it says that 15 more replacements have been done and two replacements we did one by one so there were total 17 words known as however so if i click on find and advanced find so this advanced find gives me the same button it says find replace and go to so that's why we are discussing it now that you can do the same functionality using directly replace button or find and advanced find and there you can find the replace then there is another option known as go to which is also available over here and this is also available over here so in find there is directly go to option and if i go into advanced find there is again go to option so whatever you select we go from here for example go to and it says okay where you want to go so this is a long document having 26 pages i want to move to page number 11 so i will select from here page and i will say page number 11 so this has moved me at the page number 11 so consider if this is a very large and huge document so scrolling down with arrow keys to reach at for example page number 1011 would be very difficult and you can just click go to and page number 1011 and it will shift you to that particular page we have some other options like we, if our document has different sections so we can move to a particular section as well we can move to particular line so let's move to particular line for example if i say that in this document I want to move to the line number 100 so you can see if you close this 
the cursor is blinking over here. So this line is basically the hundredth number line in this document. So you can see that this is the hundredth number line. If I say like go to line number three, so you can see that this is the line number three. One number line, two number line, and three number line. So we have find, advanced find, go to, we can use replace, and there is another thing known as select. So if I want to select all of the text from here, I can press select all. So it will select all of the things. If there are different objects which we have not drawn yet, so to select those objects, we need to press this button, then we will be able to select those objects from this document. Then if I want to select something similar, for example, if I say, I want to select any text in these 26 pages, which have the same text formatting as we have over here. So I click on editing. I say, select, select text with similar formatting. So whenever I select, it has selected all of the lines which have similar formatting. So let's try it over here. Select text with similar formatting. So you can see that here the formatting is same, but this the word important and non-important has different formatting. So let's see what is the different. This is Times New Roman and this is italic. So you can see this is italic. So with this option, you can also see that whether all of the content has been written in the same way or different way. So you can see that there are different things which are not following the same formatting. Those are italic or having some different other things. So that's it from the editing group. Let's summarize today's module. We have experimented with editing group with find, replace, go to and selection. 